Okay, the first thing that you're going to do is take your key out of the package. Of course, you're just going to take it and put it in any of the USB ports on the side. Okay. Okay, the first thing that you're going to do is go over here to where it says settings. Then you're going to, of course, make sure your internet is connected. Mine is already connected. Then you're going to go down here to where it says apps. Then you're going to go to the right, and you're going to click where it says XBMC. On you guys' box, it might say XBMC fort, uh, but just click it, whatever it says, and go over to where it says uninstall. Then click OK to get XBMC off. Okay, then we're going to go back, and we're going to go over to here where it says OI File Manager. And uh, this startup screen is going to come up. All you have to do is go to Accept on the bottom right-hand corner, then go down and press Continue. You guys might have already opened OI File Manager, so you might not have gone to, you might not have to have gone through that screen. But if you did, just click what I clicked, and then you're going to go down here to the top where it says Storage. Then you're going to go down here to where it says USB. Then you're going to go over where it says SDA1 or SDA. Or then you're going to go down here to where it says SD1. And, uh, and guys, if for some reason when you guys click SD1, it doesn't uh, open up your key, um, please try the video under this one for our second option of how to use the Gbox key. But if it did open like it did right here, just go over here to APKs. And then you're looking. You're going to go down and look for uh, TVMC. Click on TVMC, and then press install. And just allow it to finish installing. It may take a minute or two. Okay. After that, just go to where it says done, and then press return to get out of OI File Manager. And now, XBMC is now going to be called TVMC on your screen. So just start up TVMC to get it started. It's going to say just one more step. You're just going to press OK. And so the, when you first come in, a whole bunch of add-ons are going to be trying to update in the bottom right-hand corner. So just let those update before pressing click here to finalize TV, TVMC. Okay, so it looks like they're done. Now I'm going to press it. It's going to ask me, are you almost done? Just click to fin continue finalize installation. Just press continue. And this step could take from 3 to almost 10 minutes if you guys have a slow connection. So just let it go to 100% and finish. I'm going to speed the video up so we don't have to sit here watching me. Okay, and after it's done, it'll say TVMC has now successfully installed. Just press OK, and uh, your final screen should look like this. And um, one more step before we go. You guys might want to change the background here so it doesn't say TV add-ons anymore. To change the background or even change these uh, shortcuts down here, all you have to do is go over here to System, go to Settings, go to Appearance, and go to the right and go to settings again and go down here where it says background options and all you have to do is click right here where it says enable custom background turn that blue circle hit it and it'll turn gray see that and also change the background and also if you go down here to add on shortcuts you can change what shortcuts show up on the main screen over here you just click at like shortcut one you can change it and pick something else okay and that's it you see the background is different now if I go back if you had any problems with this installation Please remember to try the second video below and uh, maybe that will help you get started.